Estate Agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampada, the man with the plan. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Joey? I'm doing awesome, Jeff. How are you? Well, I'm doing awesome as well. Yes. I love the word awesome. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. We've got a great guest with us in the house. And, yes, we do. Um, we're actually, I, th- I believe we're Facebook Live right now as yes, well. So we some are. people might get a sneak peek of this episode, believe it or not. Um, we have Chuck Malone from JK Realty in studio. How's hey, it going, Chuck? Chuck. Welcome. Chuck Good morning. Man. Good morning. Yeah. How I'm are you anxious doing? to be here. Thank you. Happy Good. to be here. Good. We're going to have some fun. Wonderful. And, uh, That's why I came. <laughs> and I think you have, let's see, did you have something you wanted to do? Well, yeah, you know, or I just, Be Mighty. I always have a little bit of a promotion. Yeah. Today, uh, it's Be Mighty. Be Mighty. Yeah. I mean, I love that. Didn't it? It even had your receptionist smiling. <laughs> just something about that term. And uh, That's great. The, the, the Be Mighty uh, slogan really came from uh, Dutch brothers who huh. uh, gave us these... Uh, uh, these hats and uh, and shirts really? uh, for uh, our grandson Jacob. Now oh, Jacob wow. uh, was born with autism, okay. and um, as time went on, uh, they discovered that there was more to that autistic uh, gene, and uh, they found mitochondria defect. Hmm. It's a mitochondria. We all have it. It's a, the energy. Uh, promotes or the energy of the cell, if you will. Mm-hmm. I'm not a physician, so you'll have to go to Google to find out. The yeah. real. But I know <laughs> that it uh, powers the cell, okay. and when it's defective, uh, it, it uh, uh, takes away that power. And so the, uh, the autism gene will, will uh, uh, power up, and then the mitochondria will power down and just in one moment he's up on his mm-hmm. toes, and the next moment he's on the couch. Mm, okay. And unfortunately, the disease is uh, there's no cure, mm. and uh, it's a, a life-threatening uh, and life-taking disease. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're all going to die, and some are going to die sure. sooner. And that, but what I love about Jake and his his story is that this exemplifies him. You know, he he was uh, in the hospital for time and. Time again, in the first, I guess, the first three or four years of his diagnosis, because they, what really cued them was that he couldn't have a bowel movement, and so mm. it would get all blocked up. They'd have to take him into the hospital and uh, do all their clean out, and their clean out would take upwards of a week often. Wow. Well, it seemed like he was there for one week, and then he would come home for a few days, and then he was back in the hospital again for a week. And his mom was there by his side every step of the way, see? And there wasn't much for Jake to do. So when uh, about uh, uh, three years ago, uh, uh, Brittany asked Jake, what um, his mom? What would you like for your birthday? And Jake said, "I just would like birthday cards. Hmm. I just want to, because I love to read birthday cards. I love to read what people have to say, and I'll take those birthday cards." Well, how many would you like? Well, uh, four hundred. Wow, four hundred birthday cards, Jake. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a lot of reading. Well, and uh, uh, Jake got. Um, I'm thinking a thousand that very first time. A thousand birthday cards. Can you imagine? Wow. And uh, the post office would call and say, uh, "There's a, a bin full of cards here for your son." And they started. They set up a little separate bin for us, and we'd oh, go down awesome. and, and pick those up. And at night, we would open them uh, with uh, with the family and until yeah. two in the morning and get pretty. Uh, emotional about some of the stories. Sure, yeah. Well, you know what? The next the next year, Channel Ten got a hold of it. The Phoenix Suns got a hold of it. The Phoenix Mercury got a hold of it, and the thing exploded and went viral. Huh. And um, I won't, I'll, you know. Sh- long story short, this year his fifteenth birthday, Jacob, uh, his goal was a hundred thousand birthday cards. Wow. Now you know what that does to the to a Queen Creek uh, a <laughs> post office. <laughs> so uh, I, I think the the number was about eighty thousand. I can't 000. remember what what uh, the the real number was, but it was huge. Wow! And oh. to the point, it was just overwhelming. I mean, you, oh, yeah. you try to put all those cards in a house. Uh-huh. And, um, <laughs> Probably needed a bigger mailbox. Huh? But what it's done is it it's <laughs> yeah, well. 
we would take the car and sometimes two cars to fill up all oh, the cars. Wow. It was just to me it re, it it reflected the humanity of yeah. of people all over the world. They fell in love with Jake. If you go to Adventures with Mighty Jake mm. on Facebook, mm -hmm. you will see his smile. And you will see that this young man, um, three years ago, um, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, three, well, it was one, December, uh, they sent Jake home uh, essentially saying there's nothing more we can do. Mm. There's nothing we can do. And it was Christmas, and we planned his funeral. Oh. And... Uh, he had other plans. The Lord had other plans. Amen. And so Jake's been to New York. He's been the Grand Marshal for uh, marathons. The, the NYPD, Brooklyn North, yay, Brooklyn, um, mm -hmm. has uh, adopted him. And he's known all over the world. He really is. He, he's, it's quite the story. And so mm -hmm. I love to champion the cause. I love to call people's awareness to the autistic and the, and the mitochondria. Very rare diseases. The doctors didn't know anything about it. They still don't. Yeah. They, they are learning more, but they don't know what causes it and how. And, and what's the, all they do is they know how to, how to treat the symptom. And once the symptom they treated as much as they could with Jake, they pulled all the life ports out mm -hmm. and said to us as a family, take him home, make him comfortable. He, he has a blood clot here that probably will take him. We can't find anybody that will operate. And so there's nothing we can do. And so that hopelessness at times will reach every, every one of us, oh, yeah. right? It's, but we bounce back. Yep. Right, we, Absolutely. we we take it from there. So okay. that is that's the be mighty story today, and I know that's not real estate oriented, but oh, no, this I is appreciate you stuff. let me share a little bit. So I would Absolutely. like to present you oh, with a, oh. one of these and one to Joy. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, sir. Put that on right now. You guys are awesome. Oh. Yeah, we will. Well, I love your right show, now. Jeff and Joy. You guys have a a great spirit about you, and you know I love real estate. And I'm I was thinking this morning about well, what what's I'll be talking about brand if you ask me about that. I'll I'll give you some some ideas on brand and I thought Absolutely. what am I? Uh, and I thought well I, you know I'm a kind of an evangelist. I love I love to talk about things that I'm passionate about. I'm not afraid of showing you know about uh, telling people about them. And I love to talk about real estate and what a marvelous uh, uh, industry it's been for me. Yeah, has it been full of uh, you know, uh, ups and downs. Ups and downs. Yes, as a, <laughs> we had a tsunami or two. Yes, as, but it wasn't real estate's fault. You know, it's always been out of my control. Of yeah, what's happened? But you learn through experience. Yeah, that's right. So I loved it. I love it. So we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank you. For, thanks, thanks for letting me. Got the hat. This is awesome. Yes. Styling the hat. If you're watching the video, right? Yes. We got the be mighty. You be mighty. Be mighty. Be All right. mighty. Awesome. I wish I had the radio voice like that. <laughs> be mighty. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, thanks for sharing that. Thank you. And, thanks uh, for letting me. Appreciate it. You bet. How about um, so JK Realty? Right. How you, long now? Jason and Kayla. If you yes. want to know what the JK is, yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been with them now? Well, a good question. My, uh, you, I don't know how you define coincidence. Some say it's coincidence just by chance, and others say, well, it's when the Lord decides to remain anonymous. And I was. Uh, out of that uh, 2008 uh, debacle, I guess you'd call it, and um, looking for a place yeah. that was closer to my home and uh, that I could uh, assist the people going through the short sale thing. And, right. and I had just finished a project up in Tuba City, building the, a, a travel center for the hmm. Hopi tribe up there. And I was out of work, and there was nothing else. And I said, "Well, I, my my residential sales had kind of diminished during that time that I was doing the uh, doing that truck center and travel center." And so I I looked around and I I found J.K. Realty about a mile or two from my home, and I thought, "Well, I'll just run over there and check them out." Sure. And they were located in a little office, little. Uh, uh, flex office uh, over on Power Road. 
And I walked in and talked to the receptionist, and she says, well, just a minute, the, the uh, broker will be right with you. And this lady storms out of this office. Man, I thought, and like we had been long lost friends, she had never met me before, and yet that <laughs> glow and that beautiful face is just amazing. And uh, uh, we visited, and she said, I would just love to have you. We are a small outfit. We're, um, we have big ideas. We're involved in the, the they were a uh, listing broker for HUD. Okay. If you remember yep. that term yep. back mm-hmm. in the day. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think they were approved for like 220 homes. And so Jason was kind of running that show and Kayla was doing her thing. And, um, and there was just four or five agents. Hmm. And I said to her, Kayla, listen, I, I've been there and done that. And all I really want to do is just sort of serve my clientele. You know, I have a nice following. 90% of my business comes from referrals. And so uh, you won't even know I'm here. <laughs> you know, I've run yeah. my own show. I've had I've had years of running my own deal with uh, with uh, agents, and so uh, my my yeah. company name back in the day was Old West Realty. Old West yeah, Realty. Old West. Yeah. Old West Realty. We had fun <laughs> with that. Oh. And at first, it was Malone Real Estate, Malone Realty and mm-hmm. Investments. I just you know had that. Picture yeah. of the shamrock, and, <laughs> and so anyway, that's so. I started with Kayla, and she would not have anything uh, other than me be involved. And she said, "Let's. I think video is going to become the main, the main thing. You know, what's the main thing? Video." She said, "Let's get you a video." Yeah, this yeah. will be interesting. I'd love to hear that story because oh. you know. Um, more mature and wise people, right? right? I, 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 I learned you. to say that. You're so very kind. Mature and wise. Uh, they're afraid of social media, right? Yeah. They're afraid of doing video. But you, we took a look, when we were doing research on you, we saw lots of video that you am, did. Right. And and I owe that to Kayla yeah. and Jason. So, so what would you tell people who were afraid to shoot video? Well, I think it depends on their nature. All of us have different temperaments and personality types Mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things I like to do is help people over those identify what they are and then let's let's figure out how we can uh, change that a little bit we can Mm -hmm. all change our nature and we can all change our personalities I'm not comfortable doing this I'm much more uh, at home watching it. <laughs> but now when the microphone's pointing to me, yeah. then I have to go into what I call stage mode. Yeah. You know, yeah. stage personality. Absolutely. Well, you can't be kind of in the back and you can't be a little mm-hmm. soft-spoken. You have to be a little more animated and a little more right. uh, passionate. And yes. and I think... Genuine. Genuine. You have to be more genuine. And what Facebook does and what video does, it shows us... I don't watch them. I don't watch mine. Oh, okay. Oh, you got that Johnny Depp thing. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to be. See, I'm, I'm too critical, so I don't. Excuse me. We we do them, you know, and then they're out there. But I I choose not to study them too. And that's too hard. okay. That's I just, okay. It's okay. I did mine today, or I did mine this week, or whatever the goal is. But Joy, you ask what? Uh, why do people shy away from it? And I think it's we are our own worst critic and yes and so but the important thing is in my mind is that we we adjust to the times Mm -hmm. i heard something someone maybe it was on your show or maybe it was when i attended one of your classes i think it was and you were talking about facebook by the way you do amazing classes i appreciate that you really do uh, that f- that Shoot. people today on Facebook just thumb through. They scroll, they mm-hmm. scroll, they scroll, and they scroll so fast that unless you really pop out, they you they won't even see your post or yeah. read. Uh, they just won't. You just be a part of the scroll. You're just part of the scroll. It's kind of <laughs> it's got to be something visual. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, you got to write good, that uh, down, Joey. Or don't be part of the scroll. <laughs> And so uh, you have to do something to pop out, to yes. get them to stop, yeah. put that mm-hmm. thumb. Yeah. Yes. And so I think that's for, that's video. And then we get caught up in the, well, it's got to be professional. I yes. mean, I have to look my very best. Mm-hmm. Well, I watched a guy this morning, and I watched the various phases of him. I like to watch other people's videos, sure. by the way. <laughs> And he wasn't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But his message was great. Yeah. You know, one of the things I say during when we teach video classes is, you know, for people who are afraid to be on video because of their looks or the way they sound, mm-hmm. I just tell them respectfully, the way you look and sound on video is what you really look like and sound like in real life. I've heard you say that yeah. before. So, so if people can right. can can uh, stand the way you look and, and mm-hmm. sound, <laughs> that means you know. And they still like you. Uh, yeah, and they still like you, right? <laughs> you are what you are, Chuck. That's right. It's real. You are real. That's right. It's, it's real. Video it's real. just showing it. So, That's what right. do you think? Um, adding video and and I know you do a lot of social media stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um, how has that really impacted your business? I, I have three words, top of mind. Mm, that's good. Yeah. I, I I will tell you that last year was our very best year. I mean, I, I am humbled by it. I wow. am absolutely humbled. Uh, I mean, at my stage in life, to be in the top four and five of JK Realty of 250 agents wow. for the last couple of years has been that's amazing. That's overwhelming. Awesome. And that's, I don't, I'm not bragging. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I don't know. I mean, I yeah. I just do. I watch Kayla. I watch Jason. I I watch what they're doing. Now they're on stage. They're, they're mm-hmm. impacting the world. You know, I'm, I'm going to, I hope. You're being yeah. real. I, I, I hope so. You know, I, I just love, I get up every morning. I'm just being as honest as I can. I get up every morning and I can't wait to get to work. I yeah. can't wait to find who I'm going to help today. Wow. And every day. Well, and I'm disappointed when I don't have someone that calls and says, <laughs> sure. I need you to go show me some houses. Sure. And it's like, okay, I'm away. I, I don't know how many drops in that uh, sand of time that I have left. So I want to fill yeah. it up, man. So what would you say is the, and I'm curious about the, uh, all the video stuff and the Facebook Lives and all the things that you're doing. What do you think gets the most engagement? I mean, is it always just real estate or is it some of the things that you do outside of real estate? What would you say is? I think, uh, Jeff, there has to be a balance. We can't always be everything about real estate. We can't right. always be on there saying, hey, look at my latest listing, and mm-hmm. and here's me in front of my new house. You know, I just sold this. And I, I like to give acknowledgement to those things so that people know that I'm there and I'm active. Yeah. I, I've, I've met people for the first time who tell me, well, the reason that we came back to you is we we saw you on on Facebook and we see that you're very active in the business. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's creating an impression. So I want to have that impression, but I also want them to know about my grandson Jake mm-hmm. and mitochondria. Mm-hmm. I want them to know about my love for writing, my love for helping and serving. And when we go out, we we try to serve uh, in. You know, I served in the prison system for five years uh, out there helping inmates um, resolve things. And and I, some of the choicest, I'll write a a book about that one day. But it was, uh, again, we have to look at uh, and be rounded in our our, uh, approach, I think. Facebook is a most amazing vehicle. It's changing the lives of people and it's uh, it's exposing the lives of people you yeah. know i mean it that's a yeah, vulnerability sure. part of it and we have to we right. have to allow ourselves to show a little vulnerability and transparency yeah. well and so what i'm hearing is uh yes you're going to post some real estate stuff because you want people to know that this is what you do for a living right. however you want to post more to additional us. things keep their interest just about life you bet in right. general it's it's what all you're about passionate about outside of right real, real estate, estate. Exactly. because real estate is real estate yeah it right? is well and but <laughs> and let me take that one again here's my here's my little uh, take okay real estate is about people it is i see the business yeah. turning it into a number got it yeah i yeah. see more and more of the I mean, I've, I've, I love the folks you have on your show, and most of them are big, big producers, producers man. Yeah. I mean, big numbers, numbers that I'll never 
I mean, even when I had 50 associates, I never hit those kind of numbers. Of course, sale the 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 uh, price of a home was 23 <laughs> six. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, how about those? That's yeah. a big big difference. 23. And uh, so I, I don't relate to those numbers, but real estate is about people. It's about people with the biggest investment in their lives and turning it over to a friend. And it's just like, really, is that you would turn, you would give your money to a friend who says I'm just, and I'm yeah. not trying, everybody yeah. needs a start. And so I'm grateful for people who have the confidence to give their mm -hmm. newest agent friend yeah. a start. But I am saying that there's, um, it, it's it's the largest investment they'll ever mm -hmm. make. It may only be their only source of net worth sure. in their whole life. When you look at the savings that people don't have today towards retirement, right. mm -hmm. and so uh, I treat that very personally. And I, I mean, if I can't solve it, man, I beat myself up for a week. Sure, sure. And I just think I, I'm I can solve it. Right. Gosh, no, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. stuff. What uh, what tips or what advice would you give an agent if they, um, you know, if they're if they're hesitant to put their voice out um, to the world, whether it's in video or Facebook Live or whatever? Um, what tips would you tell them? What do they need to do? You know, I I think you start where you're comfortable. Start in your comfort zone. I mean, otherwise you're not going to do it. I, you probably expected the word, uh, you know, do it. Just do mm -hmm. it. Just do it. Well, that's easy for you to say, Chuck. You've done it. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't. Re you don't know the struggle I go through every time that I know I have to do a Facebook Live. I did a Facebook Live on the way over here. I wasn't comfortable with it. I didn't know what we were going to say. That's because you were driving while you were going. Yeah, no. exactly. And my mind was, my eyes were going, and my thoughts were going. But uh, I think you have to look at, uh, again, get on. I would say get on YouTube mm -hmm. and search um, some uh, video of real estate agents who have done it, who are doing it. And you're going to find some that are absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they put the phone up on the dash, and then they get driving, and they're yeah. just talking about all this stuff. And you wonder, what in the world's with that? And then they post it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I go find somebody's house that you can stand in front of, have, have somebody else do it, you, come with you right i mean uh, i have a videographer that comes with me mm -hmm. i hire her to come and do this yeah. because i don't my arm isn't long enough <laughs> 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 and so she comes and i stand in front of a house and i just say hi this is chuck with jk realty welcome to my world you wow. know i'm i'm in front of this home on wherever and it's an amazing home. And then I'll look at the at the stat sheet. Uh -huh. uh, this home has twenty three hundred and thirty square feet, and it's marvelous. Yeah. And what have I just done? I've created a video. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, the, then right. just post it. Just get on your. Don't even upload it to anything. Just uh, right there on your phone. Upload it to your, or put it on Facebook, and mm -hmm. there it goes. And there's your video. Mm -hmm. And then get better. Yes. Let's start studying. The more you do it, the better you exactly. get. Exactly. You know, there's there is strategy to it. There's form to it. Mm -hmm. There's there's legalities to it that yes. sometimes we That's avoid, right. and we want to make sure we're covered on those. And so, uh, you know, if I can't post it, I always say I'm Chuck Malone. I am an equal housing opportunity <laughs> realtor. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. No, that's great. So before we get to the next uh, segment, what? Any other tips or advice you want to give agents or share with them? Well, I wrote down a couple of things that I thought. Well, I was going to say you've got some things. Yeah, there, I do. So I do. Well, we've talked about iPad. social media. Social, yeah. <laughs> I should have brought my iPad. <laughs> social media presence. Um, yeah. yeah. I think you have to be out there. Yeah, be I do. Out I. There. You That's have to good. be out there. Uh, it's where the people are. Uh, most of my, and I, I will tell you, most of my business comes from referrals, and and it's because I try to be out there, and it'll come serving with someone doing something in a club or a service organization or just out with a group of hoeing weeds or something, and uh, they, uh, someone says, you're still in real estate, right? 
well, obviously you're not on my fa- you're, we're not are we not Facebook friends? <laughs> so I'm always trying to get somebody on my Facebook friend. I know I can't influence them very much unless I get them where I where they can see me. So I'm always trying to friend new people. That's one thing. Yeah. Build up that that Facebook database because that is important. If we're all about being mighty, mm-hmm. if we're all about being influential. If we're going to go through this life and create a legacy for ourselves and for our family, what better tool than Facebook right now? Yeah. I mean, it just don't be stupid, you know, and po- and post things on there that can come back to haunt you. Be an encourager. Be a be a, a what I call a balcony person. If you've read that book, and be someone that's always giving encouragement and not criticizing there's enough critics we don't need any yeah, more of those sure. we got them out there so okay. so d- change your change your style a little bit and then um open houses mm, open houses i gotta tell you it's the hardest thing i do i, I and i think as i get older it's harder mm. i mean here i am out at 4 30 in the morning five o'clock in the morning putting up signs uh <laughs> and j- dodging on busy intersections dodging <laughs> traffic <Yeah. laughs> And I keep thinking, I'm too, I'm too old for this. <laughs> but man, I, I put my open house signs out there, and then I, I canvas the neighborhood, or I do uh-huh. whatever I need to do. I'll, I'll absolutely get on Facebook right then. Yeah. Tell them, hey guys, here I am, and I, and it dr- draws people in. Yeah, so I, sure open does. houses yeah. are my next, okay. my Good. second best. A producer. Well, I saw one of your videos. You had a construction hat on. Oh, so yes. why don't yes. you just wear the little vest thing, the construction yes. hat, and there a stop sign when you're putting up your sign. That's a there great idea. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Put a dot on there or something yeah. and get in yeah. trouble. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. but uh, no, that's great information. We love it. Yes. Um, you're also an author, however. Uh, yes. Right? For, uh, kind of forced into that by uh, by uh, the circumstances of trial, and I've always been a little prolific in my emails and writings to you know i've i've had the opportunity along the way to be associated with some great people great families great men and women and and along the way i've learned things that i could never have learned had i not been at their side and and receiving their tutelage and so i think in the in the real estate business if you're new um getting someone that can tutor you someone that can help you get acclimated you know learn the ropes get we all have a learning curve get that learning curve up as quickly as you can so you know back in the 2008 and i keep referring to that that was the third one i i had i had one in 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 the the late 70s early 80s where interest rates went up to 20% 20% yeah. and I was trying to and I was a home builder I, I joined with a couple of other men and we became uh, Old West Homes and built uh, homes in Gilbert that's where our first subdivision was and so I had a, a wonderful run and um, 10 years later that rat run came to an end with the interest rates and mm-hmm. many of the big builders disappeared and our little company you know we we were just I had a machine going. I mean, I could have been so wealthy, and then it yeah. stopped, you know? And and I took that so personal, and I, I didn't recover from it. I let it mm-hmm. eat at me. I kept... Eat, let, I kept mm-hmm. just criticizing myself, right? And look what you've done. Look what you've lost. Look Oops. what. <laughs> look, there went Facebook Live. <laughs> and it's real. Yeah, it is real. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. what happens, folks. And so that's why they don't do Facebook Live and <laughs> without editing. But so the the trial that came from that for me was depression Mm -hmm. man i can relate if you you got any of the listeners out there that have sure i'm kind of an overthinker and over i take things very personal i i try to do my best on everything it's never good enough and um and so i allowed myself to get into that dark world of depression Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it was a long haul guys it was a long haul and during that time we had a daughter 32 years of age that uh, came down with uh, breast cancer mm-hmm. five kids 
and uh, that looked like it was going to take her life and we moved her and her family into our home five kids and uh, husband and wife and we battled that thing and she is a survivor today oh, good. but oh, i learned go. some things through that and then I, then we got the letter from irs that says you know we kind of like to look at your last three years of whatever's and they add that on top of that and then one thing after another when you're already down and i couldn't find work and it had been about two years mm-hmm. without work and um, I yeah. said, you know what? And this is this is such a lesson, because when we get to that point in life that we absolutely can't, feel like we can't solve it ourselves, and we have to turn to a higher power, mm-hmm. the door opened, and a thought came: Why not try your hand at copywriting? You might, uh, you might. Uh, you know, just as extra income, just to have some extra. I'm I'm a firm believer in multi sources of income, guys. Sure. You know, I uh, I along the way, when you look at all of experience being for our good, and you look at the different types of experiences that are available, uh, real estate has offered me that opportunity because I always have that need of people needing to move yeah. and sell, right? But in the I also have my own hobby. What's your hobby? My other hobby is making more money on a different level. Mm -hmm. And so I started an independent uh, distributorship that led to uh, uh, speaking, public speaking all over the country, paid. I I mean, it was the most glorious time of my life. I just, my, my wife actually came along with me. And we had a great opportunity uh, to do that during some very difficult t- periods of time during real estate. And yet I was still making money and still honing a skill of being able to uh, assist and motivate and yeah. inspire others. And so the, all of this led up to a pu- getting published uh, as, a, as a copywriter. And I thought, well, gee, that was my first time. I made the the cover, my photograph made the cover, and my article made the lead article in this fancy magazine. I wonder if I have something. So I wrote a, another article, and I sent it into a, into a church news, newspaper, and they published it and hmm. paid me. Wow. I mean, it was like, okay, you know, maybe I'm on a roll. Anyway, the article that I had published uh, uh, I had always thought, you know, the sweetness of trial. I've never heard anybody refer to trial as being sweet. Mm -hmm. But there was a period of time in in the absolute utmost despair that I felt the Lord's hand come around me. And it was life-changing. It was, I think as I look back on it, as I have probably, and and again, this isn't a religious show, but it's, it's people quit real estate because they beat themselves up. Yeah. They quit real estate because they hit a trial. And the people divorce because they hit a trial. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and people end their lives because they hit a trial. So Chuck, why in the world would you write a book on trial? Who wants to read a book on trial? Well, you'll want to read this because it's a fun read, but it's also an emotional read. Okay. One of my one of the chapters is a trial is non-denominational. Mm, Doesn't true. matter who you are, or what your belief is. Mm-hmm. You're going to be hit with trial, or you just came out of one, or you're going to have one. That's right. right. So yeah. that it's important to understand. At least in my mind, I went through all these trials without any help of knowing how to how I should react to a trial. Well, The Sweetness of Trial, the book that I like to present both to you and John, oh, I hope you read it. Awesome. Thank and, you. And uh, um, The Sweetness of Trial, if you want to get the, the little cover on it yeah, there, there shows m- there's grandson Jake. Oh, oh got it. Nice. See how appropriate that is? Yes. And, and he's uh, there with the Savior's arms open to him. If you're in trial, come unto me. Yeah. And, and he has. And so that was really the catalyst, Jeff. And uh, the I've written several books. I And you know when I do them, I don't take it away from a real estate business. I do them on the treadmill in the morning at the gym. There we go. I have my iPad, and then and I just I, I write. That's where I do my writing, Yeah, believe it or not. And I've written four books in there. Mm-hmm. And this is the first to be published. But I'm writing another one called Winning Through Trial. Winning Through Trial. And that's the one I'm, I'm really excited. This sets yeah. the foundation. Winning through trial. Well, now, how do how do I actually? Uh, one of my one of my uh, little notes on my desk. Look opportunity. Look for it. How do I 
because I think that my writing skill came from the opportunity that trial forced me into. I I had I was looking for other opportunities. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And so and so that's going to be. I have winning ways. Actually, go through on how to set yourself up for the next trial and how to react to it and how to prepare yourself and change your attitude. We we can all we're going to be programmed one way or another. Sure. That's right. So we can choose to program ourselves in a positive, or we can let life program us to be negative. Right. Hmm. No, that is great. Thank you so that's much. Good for stuff. Sharing anyway, that. That's, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, that is awesome. If agents that are listening or watching, if they wanted to reach out to you directly, are you okay with that? Or yeah, I mean, I I, I have I have uh, I'm at Chuck at jkrealtyaz.com if they want to easy enough if they want that or four two zero three two nine seven four eight nine which is right. my my cell so I'm always happy to talk and yeah all right but uh, yeah I guess that's. Sorry. You ready to transition to? Oh yes, I'm ready. The, the ring? Am I going in the ring? Yes. All, All right. right. Here we go. Let's get in the ring. All right. So, what's the best advice that anyone's ever given you? Oh, well, that is a good. That's a great question. Uh, I, I, where do I start? You know, to never quit. I, I never quit. Never quit. I mean, that's a. I, let me put this one. The more recent. Uh, brand yourself. That oh, was great advice, good. and I think Kayla probably had some. Jason and Kayla had some input into that. Yeah, Bra- let's brand you, Chuck. Let's get you out there in the world, and that brand. I'm still, I'm still fine tuning it. I mean, I don't know if I want to be the the uh, Billy Graham uh, of real estate, you know, or the <laughs> Chuck the Evangelist yeah. realtor. I, I don't, I don't know who I want to be, but I'm. I'm trying to present that brand and create the brand. So that was, okay. and stay in social media. I mean, you have to get there. Yeah. That's if you're not in social media, it's a little bit like going back to my day when I when I opened <laughs> Malone Realty and I had I I rented a f- a furniture from Walsh Brothers, hmm. rent to own by the way. And you probably don't remember Walsh Brothers, but <laughs> and a little office in Mesa, and there's my book, and it was you know the thick MLS book, mm-hmm. and I had a phone, and and that's nobody could get to real estate without yeah. calling me. Yeah, that's not the case today, folks. Right? No, that's right. <laughs> that that has changed. I have a feeling I know what this one is, but uh, what's your favorite mobile app? <laughs> I'm curious to see what one you would think I my. Well, I was thinking Facebook. Yeah, but, uh, that's what I was thinking too. You probably have well maybe something else that you use. Uh, I love iMovie. Oh, iMovie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, iMovie. Of course, Google Maps. I couldn't get anywhere. Oh. I am I am directionally challenged, <laughs> but I could go on. I just I okay. I'm, I'm not a map. I'm not a an app techie, but I I use the apps yeah, right. as much as I can. How about a book recommendation? Thank you for asking. Um, I guess I, I said earlier on that uh, real estate is a book is a, uh, a business of people. It's still a people business, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and if you're not changing yourself, if you're not working on making yourself more of a people person. Um, then you're going to have a hard time at real estate if you're looking at it just as the numbers. And I know that's that's the trend, and I'm I, I'm trying to adjust that in my own life. Yeah. More, more numbers, more numbers, because I know that I've got to get the word out to more and more people and use voice texting and using all the other different things that I'm still a little uncomfortable with. But people, you are still going to have to go to that house. You You are still going to have to... Uh, look that person in the eye and and convince them as to why you are the man or woman for the job and that and I think in order to do that you need to know personalities you need to know temperaments uh, the books that I've read along the way that have changed me have been Dale Carnegie's mm-hmm. books how to win friends and influence people book. that'll never yeah. go away because that's all th- those principles are still the same right. less less Giblin and uh, uh, the uh, power and uh, how to have power and influence mm-hmm. uh, you know in in people skills developing people skills um, I took a a uh, I joined um, Toastmasters. Mm-hmm. I couldn't stand on my feet and deliver 
a talk. I was scared to death uh, of public speaking. Oh my goodness. Uh, but I joined a Toastmasters, an early morning Toastmasters. It was uh, This particular group was the City of Mesa employees. I was the only non-employee. <laughs> and so I'm in there sitting with the rest of these folks. And, uh, and uh, they would, you know, you had your opportunity to stand up and give your one minute yeah. who mm-hmm. I am type of thing. And that really helped me. And then I took voice lessons, if you can believe. I, I had no strength in the voice. And so what can I do to change that? Well, I started taking voice lessons and learning how to breathe and learning how to develop some strength in there, yeah. which both of those helped me immensely down the road in public speaking. That's awesome. yeah. You just and never with, know yeah. what's going to come. And with people. Yeah, right. absolutely. So those are, those are great books. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't give you some, some – uh, uh, Realist, a couple of real, uh, Gary Keller uh, had in Shift was a, a you know a major influence in in developing systems, and I'm a systems guy. You have to you have to develop systems. I'm yeah. still learning. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying. And then the the millionaire real estate agent That's again. Both of those are great. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you're looking, if you're brand new, you're just getting started, and you don't have a you know a, a place those are those are two great books absolutely yeah all so right. it's time for the mask oh yeah Ooh. are you ready yes oh yeah all right let's see here <laughs> make it easy on me man i'm, I'm tired now make there me go. make it easy this is beautiful what yes, is that, velvet <laughs> yes it is here it is well let's that see might be an easy one huh what flavor of ice cream? Yeah. No, I <laughs> gotcha on that one. Yeah. Then, uh, Joey would have put that one. I, I, am, <laughs> I am an Oreo cookie guy, Oreo Joey. Cookie oh, guy. Yeah. Oh, no, put that in. Good. Did you know that I, uh, my wife and I owned a Dairy Queen? Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Right when the blizzards came out, we wow. owned a Dairy Queen. My oh, favorite that, is the strawberry shortcake cheesecake ooh, one. Ooh, yeah. Strawberry that's hers. <laughs> like, uh, that's her. Mine was just anything with ice cream and cookies in it. <laughs> What did you want to be growing up? Oh. I that, that caught me off guard. Wow. Well, you know, I was a, a, a dreamer, little boy. I could tell the wildest tales, um, but I, I guess I wanted to be – I was very athletic, or at least I tried to be athletic. I wasn't really <laughs> in that mm. upper – but I, I tried to be athletic, wanted to be, and – so I guess that always filled the dream of being, uh, you know, a, a great baseball player or something. Uh, my go. dad was the wow. chief of, fi- of the fire department, yeah, okay. and so uh, obviously having having that uh, uh, in my mind, being a fireman one day. But I I just wanted to captain yeah. my ship. You know, I there just you know. wanted to be the guy. I left a job with a very secure job to go become yeah. a real estate agent. Uh, there you go. That's an adventure, right? It was an adventure, man. So. Well, thank you so much for coming well, in. Thank you for having yeah. me. It's been I, great I really, information. I hope yes. it has. Thank you for the gifts, too. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. welcome. And you both get a book well, as well. Thank you. Appreciate All right. that. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right, Chuck. Until next time, this is Jeff Underwood and, and Joey Sampaga. We are the Real Estate Marketing Maniacs. See you later. All right. Good job, guys. That was awesome. Thank you.